Great creative assets are super important. And now with the power of AI tools getting better and better, you can create them yourself in little to no time at all. And today I'm gonna give you five excellent and quick ways that you can easily make images with AI. Let's get into it. So here I'm gonna show you how you can use Adobe's generative fill feature to create images using AI inside of Photoshop. So first we just need to create a new file and I'll click here and then we just change the size dimensions of our file here. So I'll click create. So now once we have our canvas set, I just need to go over here and grab the rectangular marquee tool and then I'll select the area we wanna generate an image. So I'll select this area here and then we'll tell it what we wanna create. And this you can be as specific or as vague as you want, but the more specific you are, it's generally gonna be better. And this is the case with most AI image generators. So for this, I'm just gonna tell it to create, I'll create a beach with palm trees and then I'll click generate. It'll take a little bit of time here and then in just a few moments, it'll have the image generated for you. So it's gonna give you a few different images to choose from that you can cycle through. If any of these work, you can stick with that. But if you wanted to generate some more, you can click generate here and it'll give you three more. So here you can see the few that it's generated for us. And then you can also cycle through the first three as well. So if we like one of these, we can keep it. And now we can generate more here in the background. So for instance, let's say we like this beach scene, how this is looking, but we want to make the sky a little more interesting. What I can do is I can select the part that I want to generate, and then we can have Photoshop generate this for us. So I'm going to grab the lasso tool here, and then let's select the sky area. And I'm going to tell it to generate a gorgeous sky with clouds and the sun, and then I'll click generate. So now similar to before, we can see the ones that it's given us and we can cycle through until we find ones we want. And if we like it, we can keep it. If not, we can click generate again, just like before to generate more different images until we're happy with what we have. You can use generative fill to add anything you want to your image as well. So for instance, if we wanted to add a boat here, we could use generative fill to generate a boat. We'll make a small boat and then we'll click generate. And now you can see this added in the boat to our scene. And just like before, we can find the ones that work for us. And then when we're happy, we can keep it in. Another easy, powerful way to generate images with AI is by using Divi's AI image generator. This is a super fast and straightforward way to generate images right from your visual builder, which makes it super nice since you can generate images without leaving your page. So let's say that we have this pet treats company and we wanted to put an image here. So all we need to do is open the module settings by clicking the gear icon. And then we'll go over here to where it says AI and we'll hit generate with AI. From here, you have a lot of options. You can choose which image style you wanna use, anything from a photo to a 3D render to cartoons. And then we just type in what we want it to create. So let's make a photo of a plate of delicious dog treats. Then if you have a reference image, you can upload it here. And then you can choose the aspect ratio if you have one in mind that you wanna use. So let's say we wanna make a portrait and then I'll click generate. It'll take a few moments and then it'll generate the image for us. And then we can decide if we wanna use that or customize it. So here you can see from our prompt, it's given us a few image choices. If we like one, we can click it and hit use this image. If you wanna generate four more, cause this isn't quite what you wanted, you can click that. If one is close, but it's not quite exactly what you want, you can click it and hit generate more like this one. And then it will use that as a reference image to generate more images for you. So here you can see that it's generated a few based on that. And then if we like one, we can click it and hit use this image and it'll automatically put it into our page for us. Another super easy way you can create images with AI is by using ChatGPT Plus with Dolly 3. If you have used ChatGPT before, you know how simple it is to interact with. Using ChatGPT Plus's image generation abilities with Dolly 3 is no exception. To use this, you will need to have a Plus account and have ChatGPT 4 selected, but now this is a multi-model selection that includes ChatGPT 4 and Dolly 3. Generating images with ChatGPT is just as easy as using it as a conversational tool. And similar to other AI generators, you just type in what you want it to create. As you can see here, it's really easy to use and extremely conversational and can generate really great quality images quite quickly. Now, another cool tool you can use is called Google Gemini. They offer a free version you can try out for yourself to mess around with, but do know that they have a paid version, which is called Ultra, that does have a lot more capabilities. But the free version is pretty capable. So to use it, make sure that you're logged into a Google account and then just go ahead and chat with Gemini. You have to agree to their privacy policy and their terms and conditions, and then you're ready to start using Gemini. Similar to typing with ChatGPT, you'll just go down into the prompt area on the bottom and tell it what you want it to create. Just make sure when you're typing in here that you specify you do want it to create an image so that it knows that you want images and not just text. So I'll make it create an image of a house exterior and then I'll hit submit. So I've told it to generate four images of a house exterior. You can see that it gave us our images here. And if there's any that you like, it's super easy. You can just hover over and download an image that you like and then you can use it for yourself. As you can see, this is super easy and quick and can get you some decent results even with the free version. And finally, another way you can create AI images is with Microsoft Copilot. Copilot creates images much like Gemini where you type in a prompt 
and tell it what you want to create. Copilot also gives you the option to edit images using Copilot's designer, which is really cool. And there's also a mobile app available if you want to use that to create images on the go. Copilot is super easy to use and can create images very easily as well. We have found that Copilot does tend to lean more towards cartoony graphics than other platforms, so you want to make sure your prompts include style preferences. Now, if you want a little more information on creating images with AI, I'm going to leave a link to a blog article down in the video description. You can check that out for yourself. It's going to go a little more in depth and give you some awesome tips and tricks to creating your own images. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.